Hi, I'm Mike Brown, an internationally recognised photographer, trainer and biker. This photography tip is a snippet from one of my popular photo biker videos. If you would like to see the whole video, click the link in the top right corner of your screen or go to the description area below where you will find a link for you to binge the entire series. What's interesting here, look where they are. We've got a tree here, we've got a little bit of shade and there's actually quite a bright area of sky just over there. Let me show you. If I roll this little video camera, let's see if we can get these bad boys. Here we go, look, let's get them sharp. Right, here's our little pile of mushrooms. There's you over there in the form of the GoPro. Now look, if I widen that lens, look, you see, there's this big open area of sky up in here. That is bringing light this way, which means this side is slightly in shade, which means we've got a fall off of light. It's giving it that lovely sort of curved shape of those little mushrooms. And this tree over here, this one is blocking some light. It's really, really simple. It's completely awesome. So let's have a look. Let's take a photo. What do we want to do? We want to make sure that these bad boys absolutely stand out from their surroundings. So I'm going to make my zoom as long as it will go. I'm only using an 18 to 55 mil. They're wonderful lenses. Look at that already. That looks great. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm looking at, can you? Now, let me put the video back on because composition, don't just look at the subject, look at everything. Now here are our mushrooms. What about this horrible looking black triangle just there? You don't want that, do you? Well, how can you lose it? Really simple, isn't it? Look, you just lower the camera down a bit. I don't like that bright bit in the top left corner, so I'm just gonna tilt it down a bit, find the place where it all comes together. That's not bad, level the camera. That's good. Exposure. I think I probably want to make it a little darker. What about depth of field? We want them to stand out, don't we? So my exposure actually, I'm gonna just take it down a fraction from what the light meter says. I wanna use a wide aperture because I want a shallow depth of field. I want these bad boys to stand out from their surroundings. So we've got our composition. I like that light. I think it looks great, even though it isn't really shiny. They look pretty good. Not a bad shot. I went and caught that bit of brightness in the sky then. Let's just see if I can get that. There we go, that's better, isn't it? So that's quite a nice shot, but there's another little thing going on here. There's a few leaves coming in here. We've got this round shape and a little piece here. My brain is going, can't we do something from above and have two opposite shapes? Now I know, well you can see is my foot, but I think you can see my camera too. Now, if I get those bad boys in focus, here we go. Right, have a little look. As I turn the camera, look, you see we've got these, these leaves coming in here, we've got these bad boys here. We just kind of zoom that lens in a bit longer. Focal length and composition, they are best, best mates. Look, I think that is quite a nice looking shape. We've got the autumn leaves, we've got a few fungus. Let's take that shot too. How much depth of field do we want? Well, shallow is good again, but I'm actually going to just make my aperture a tiny bit smaller because I just kind of want to be sure that all the mushrooms, all these fungus are in focus. So I'm just taking my ISO up a bit to compensate for the slightly smaller aperture because the light has dropped some more. We've got a cloud come along. <laughs> I rather like that too. There are so many possibilities, but in everything we've looked at this morning, it is light that is king. It is light that's giving the shape to these little mushrooms. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share and subscribe because it helps me make more like it. Let's do this again soon.